<laughs> well, that sure wasn't me. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. That is a big horn sheep from the mountains of Russia. And it, uh, ah. Hey guys, I'm back. It's me, Hannah Danger, and we're ready to get to Stefan. I am here at the bottom of the beautiful Sandia Mountains to finish our great Get to Stefan competition that I have going with Andrew. If you remember last time, me and Andrew conquered one of our fears of heights on the scariest bridge ever. That was so scary, but not as scary as today will be because me and Andrew have to conquer another one of our biggest fears. Dun, dun, dun! Here's how it went down. After we got off the bridge, Andrew challenged me to one of my biggest fears. He said, Well, I think you should go on a hike next week with your biggest fear, a clown. Then I said, Oh no, how did you know that clowns were one of my biggest fears? Then he said, I can tell, watch. Oh! Then I said, Ugh, what's your biggest fear, Andrew? Then he said, Oh, speaking in front of grown-ups, for sure. And then I said, Okay, while I'm hiking, you have to prepare yourself to speak at church and give the announcements. Then he said, That's horrible. I'm already sweating. Then I said, Well, if I have to face one of my biggest fears, so do you. Then he said, Okay, okay. Then I said, well, Andrew, since this hike sounds super dangerous, I may have to show up as Hannah Danger. So here I am, ready to take on my fear hiking with the clown. And that clown should be here any minute. Hey, 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 calm down, Anna. Farmer Joe, what are you doing here? Well, Andrew told me to get my clown and come over here and make sure that you face one of your biggest fears while he's getting prepared to speak to them young adults. You know Andrew? Yeah, we go way back. That's odd, and even more odd that you have a clown. Oh, Skippy, he's just the clown we keep around on the farm to keep them crows away. But he's real friendly, see? Ah, <laughs> uh, see, clowns are pointless. No way. Who do you think makes all that their precious honey back at the farm? They make the honey and we make the money? What? Well, clowns are still really scary. Well, maybe to you, I suppose, but I guess that's why we're here. Well, since Andrew's checking up on me, I guess I'll have to do the same to him tonight. So let's get Stefan and let's get going so I can be there. Well, let's get to Stefan. Okay, this is going to be so weird. <laughs> A few inches later. <sighs> okay, okay. I think we need to stop for a break. That's a good call, Hannah. How about we just rest right here? Well, that sure wasn't me this time. Okay, okay, I have to admit, that's pretty funny. See, them clowns ain't so bad. Uh, yeah, I guess not. Wait, where, where did he go? <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Do you see what I mean? That is creepy. That's not creepy, Hannah. Danger! No, 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 that's just my name. Hey, you call him weird. Look, you scared him. He's just as afraid of you as you is of him. Well, apparently you are too. So let's get this hike over with for everyone involved. We're almost up to that small peak and I think that'll give me enough steps to catch up with Andrew. Let's go. <sighs> oh. 
Okay, I think we're good here. Wow, look at that view. I feel like Andrew right now getting to speak in front of a bunch of people. Or Peter, when he boldly stepped up and then he spoke to the crowd about Jesus. Yeah, we've been talking a lot about Peter and how he stepped aside for Jesus and trusted him. He left everything and followed him. Then Peter had to step out in faith with Jesus by stepping out on the water. He began to get afraid and began to sink. It was then that he had to learn to trust Jesus no matter how hard life got. Yes, and after Peter gave his life to Jesus and he learned to trust him, then he was able to step up and preach to the crowds about Jesus without being afraid. Yes, that was right after Peter and the other disciples received the Holy Spirit. Exactly. Plus, Acts 2.14 says, Then Peter stepped forward with the 11 other apostles and shouted to the crowd. Yep, Peter was ready to speak up about Jesus. He wanted the people to know the truth, that everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. And then Peter went on and on, telling everyone everything that he knew about Jesus. And the Bible says that Peter's words pierced their hearts, which means it all made sense to them. And they said to him and to the other apostles, brothers, what should we do? And then Peter replied, each of you must repent of your sins and turn to God and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. Then you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Then Peter continued to preach for a long time, telling the people to save themselves. And this is the best part. The Bible says in Acts 2, 41, those who believe what Peter said were baptized and added to the church that day, about 3,000 in all. Wow, that gives me the chills. Peter helped 3,000 people get to heaven that day. He changed 3,000 people's lives. But it didn't stop there, Hannah. Peter went on to build the church and he never stopped talking about Jesus. In fact, Jesus said this in Matthew 16, 18. Now I say to you that you are Peter, which means rock. And upon this rock, I will build my church and all the powers of hell will not conquer it. It's just amazing what a difference we can make when we step up for Jesus. Sometimes it's scary, but if we step up for Jesus, He's gonna be with us the entire way. That is such a great reminder for Andrew. I wonder how he's doing. Well, he just texted me a few minutes ago to check on you and see how you were doing. And he sounded like he was kind of freaking out. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I don't know what I'm gonna say. What if I freeze? What if I just, no, this isn't good. What if I have to pee on stage? Oh no, I need to remind him of this story before he goes off on stage. We need to head back. Well, hold on a second. We still have plenty of time and we still have one more thing we need to do. Uh, what's that? Well, to truly experience a clown, you got to play a clown game. Okay, well, I do love games. I think Skippy has one good one planned for us. Oh, I love this game. He wants to make balloon animals and have us guess what they are. But if we get it wrong, he gets to squirt us in the face with his squirt gun. Yes, I love dangerous games. They don't call me Hannah Danger for nothing. Okay, well, let's play. Well, that one's easy. That's a saber tooth tiger. What? Actually, that one's a wiener dog. Oh, I know this one. That's a koala. Uh, no, that's a giraffe. Well, I know what this one's gonna be. That is a big horn sheep from the mountains of Russia, and it went, ah! Uh, Farmer Joe, that's a snake. It could be a snake too, yeah. Wow, I totally won that. I'm honestly surprised you didn't know any of those. Aren't you a farmer? Yeah, but I was just warming up. 
Okay, well for sure, you're gonna get a warm up now because we are running late. We have to go see Andrew, let's go! Andrew, Andrew, how are you? Honestly, I'm kind of freaking out, but I think I'll be okay. I knew you'd come to check on me and make sure I could do this. Well, yeah, but I came to help you out a little bit. You see, when Farmer Joe and I were hiking with that scary clown today. Oh yeah, how'd that go? It was fine, but we could talk about that later. Anyways, we were talking about Peter and how he gave his life to Jesus and trusted him with everything. He even stepped out in faith and talked to a crowd of people. Oh yeah, I love that story. It's in the book of Acts after the disciples got the Holy Spirit, right? Yes, that's it. And Peter helped 3,000 people know Jesus that day. He was bold and trusted Jesus to help him in front of the crowd. That's right. Yeah, and that story reminded me of you. All you have to do is trust Jesus and he will give you the words to say. You're right, Hannah. I think I need some alone time with Jesus before I do this. That's a great idea, Andrew. I will be praying for you too and I will see you out there. You're gonna do great. Man, welcome everyone. Good to see y'all. A few things as awesome as worshiping. Anyone agree with me on that? There's a few. Yeah, right on. Well, welcome. It's great to see all your beautiful faces. I'm glad you're here, but I want to let you guys know about is we got some service opportunities for every single one of you. Great job, Andrew. Thanks for all your encouragement today. It really helped me take a huge step and conquer my fear of speaking in front of adults. Well, yeah, that's what friends are for. I knew God was gonna help you out there. You trusted him, so he directed your steps. That's what our memory verse says. The Lord directs the steps of the godly. He delights in every detail of their lives. Psalms 37, 23. Yep, we both took some big steps today and God guided us along the way. Hey, that should be the kid's mission this week, to take a huge step. Andrew, that's a great idea. Kids, your mission this week is to have your parents help you conquer one of your biggest fears. Yeah, like the monkey bars. Those are scary. Yeah, or you can take a big step for Jesus. Like telling someone about him. That's right. Take a picture or draw it for us to see. And then you can show it to us at any Kids Planet location or post it to one of our social media pages to be featured in a future mission highlight. I can't wait for those to come in. Hey Andrew, how many steps did you get in today? Well, I honestly didn't get in that many steps, except for like the pacing I did before going on stage because I was so nervous. Well, I got a lot of steps in from hiking and the clown actually gave me an idea. Oh yeah, are you two just like best friends now or what? Oh, definitely not, but I'm not as scared. Oh, okay, so what's the idea? Well, I thought that we could add up all of our steps from the past three weeks and see who wins. And the loser has to get pot in the face. I have the pie right over there. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> okay, Andrew, how many steps did you get in our great get to step in competition? 255,789. Beat that, how many did you get? Well, I got 257,221. Yes, I win, I win. Hey Hannah, why is there another pie over there? Oh, I thought we could eat it. Yeah, it is delicious. Well, hold on, we need plates and forks. Well, do we? Because just in case you cheated, I thought I would do this. <laughs> 